Hi, let's figure out which edition of Windows 7 will give the best performance. To do this, we took an average laptop, which still has drivers for Windows 7, and for many hours install different editions on it – Home Premium, Professional, Enterprise and Ultimate. And we tried both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. All builds are official. With them we conducted several identical tests and now we can accurately answer the question – which Windows 7 should you choose? So subscribe to the PCNP channel, support this video with a like and a comment and then start analyzing the results of the experiments. So friends, we want to find a Windows 7 that will be an excellent option for an old computer. To do this it should take up little space and not overload the RAM and processor with its processes. To compare different editions, let's run six tests. Each edition is freshly installed and all have the same settings and installed programs. First one – Task Manager. Here we will see how much RAM each 7 takes. It is very important to wait a few minutes in this test because some built-in services have a delayed start and after 2-3 minutes the system takes 100 MB more than at startup, or even more. And here are results, please note. Enterprise X64 – 890 MB Ultimate X64 – 945 Professional X64 – 968 and Home Premium – 990. As you can see, there is no big difference, especially if you have 4 or more GB of RAM. 100 MB and 4 GB is irrelevant. But what if, for example, you have a computer with 2 GB of RAM? Then it is better to choose 32-bit Windows. It just may not support more than 2 GB, depending on the edition and your hardware. Then it will take 633 MB in the home version and 716 in the Enterprise X32 build. Here is the winner of this test – Windows 7 Home Premium X32. It takes 633 MB of RAM. The remaining almost 1.5 GB is enough for the Internet, working with documents and even various old games. In addition, you can manually disable services that you don't need. This will free up another 100 MB. The second test – Performance in Converting Video. This test clearly shows how much Windows allows the program to use the processor, and therefore what performance will be in other programs and games. We took the same video converter, the same video and settings, and measured the conversion time. And here are results. The difference of 2-3 seconds is not big. This means that there is no difference in performance between 64-bit systems. What about 32-bit versions? The Home 7 finished in 308 and the Enterprise did it in 302. Here the difference is already 10 seconds compared to the 64-bit versions. It turns out that the information processing in the 32-bit Enterprise 7 is faster than in others. Let's try to confirm or refuse this conclusion in the next test. The third test is benchmarks. Here we use different benchmarks to see trends, these are Prime 95, Signbench and AIDA64 built-in benchmarks. Note the results in the Prime test. There are many numbers and it is rather difficult to compare them, but the highest numbers of iteration rates were shown by Enterprise X64, Enterprise X32 and Home Premium X32. The situation is similar with other benchmarks. Signbench is supported only by 64-bit systems and here the maximum results after several tests on each Windows. Here the Enterprise version has the highest result. The following benchmarks are from AIDA64. CPU Queen. Here all 64-bit systems are very close. The Enterprise breaks out a little and 32-bit systems are lagging behind. Another test from Photoworks. Here it is already as it was in the test with conversion, on the contrary, the 32-bit versions break out ahead and ahead of all the enterprise ones. The fourth test launched the application. Let's go from numbers to practice again. Let's arrange the launch of the application from a while. 
The game program loads a lot of small files into RAM at startup, so it takes a long time to start, and this will show which system is more efficient in working with memory. For the purity of the experiment, on each system we will make several launches and take the fastest one. So, all sevens are at the start. 3, 2, 1, go! The program is running. It is loading, and is the first to handle is Home Premium X32, followed by the Enterprise version. But it is worth noting that the gap is so small that when working with programs and games, such a difference in performance will not be noticeable. But still, the winner is the winner. The fifth one – Launch Windows. Let's conduct a similar experiment, but on the speed of turning on the computer. This no longer affects performance, but I wonder if there is a difference in system startup speed. We will write down the time from the appearance of the BIOS information to the launch of the browser from startup. Do you think there will be a difference here, or will all 7s show the same result as well? All editions are back at the start and ready? Let's go! So the systems are loaded. Processes and services are started. The desktop appears. And so far everything is the same. It remains to load the browser. And Enterprise and Home X32 finish first at 40 seconds. And this is logical, they use RAM better, the Home 64 in a second, Professional Edition on 43rd second, and at the end Enterprise and Ultimate X64. Here is the race. 32-bit systems are ahead again. The last test – the volume of the system on disk. There will already be a difference. Here it is. As you can see, 32-bit versions take up very little space for our time. It is also interesting that among 64-bit systems, the maximum has ultimate. It takes much more than others, everything is there to the maximum. That's why it took longer than others to load. In this table on Wikipedia you can see what it is in each edition. This can also help you choose a system if you have any special needs. For ordinary users, the basic functions that are in all editions are enough. The main thing is which edition is most productive. Let's conclude which 7 should you choose. First, determine which bit capacity suits you best. If you have 2GB of RAM, X32 is your choice. If 3GB or more, then you can choose X64. But you can also stop at X32 and feel great performance if it supports all your RAM. Among 32-bit Windows 7, the Home Premium version will give good performance. It takes less RAM and is better in some benchmarks. The Enterprise one also shows good results, especially in comparison with 64-bit systems. Among the 64-bit Windows 7, it is best to choose the Enterprise version. It is slightly more efficient and stable. It is very interesting to know your opinion about the tests shown, as well as about the conclusions made. Write comments and what conclusions you made after seeing the experiments. Remember that there are a lot of useful videos on our channel, including comparisons of other versions of Windows. Subscribe and stay with us. See you on the air!